Hey guys, so I've got a newish project to show you. Actually, excuse me, I've got a little bit of a cold at the moment. Um, it is this. It is sort of a boombox thing. <laughs> Not a very good explanation. Uh, as you can see, there's like a little LED matrix on the front. That's a Spectrum Visualizer. Um, it's using the MSG EQ7 chip, uh, which is really easy to wire up. I will do a video about the separate parts of this eventually, um, so you can have a look, but I just wanted to sort of give you a sneak preview before it's finished. It has a Nokia 5110 screen on the top, uh, and I've wired up the 4050 uh, level shifting chip uh, as part of the circuit, because it's running off a, an Arduino Uno, the whole thing, so that's kicking out 5 volts, and these are 3.3 volt screens, or 3 volt screens, or whatever it is. Um, I've got a PAM 8403 amplifier, that's a 6 watt amplifier that kicks out 3 watts per channel which is fine for a project like this, you don't need anything more than that. It's plenty loud enough and can power these speakers which are crappy little really really cheap 8 ohm speakers. I'm also using a step down converter for my power because I'm using 6 AA batteries. Um, that wasn't really a choice, I just had those battery things lying around so I just chose 6 is fine, and I'm just dropping it down to 5 volts to feed directly into the UNO. Um, and I've also got the LED matrix like sorted out with shift registers, so that's feeding into the Arduino UNO as well. Uh, and I've got a radio thing on there, which I discovered, I discovered, no, I mean I bought it. Uh, it was really cheap, it was like a pound fifty or something. And it's an FM radio that you can, it's software controlled, which is pretty awesome. I mean, these things are so cheap, loads of people must be using them. And in fact, I learned how to do it from someone's guide online. And it is incredibly easy, just really difficult to solder up, that's all. It means that I can use the Arduino to change the frequency. By, and I'm, at the moment, I'm using a rotary encoder to do that. Um, I did think about using a uh, potentiometer, but when my power drops, if the voltage drops at all because I'm using batteries, then um, that's going to shift the frequency or, you know, if too much current's drawn and the, the voltage then drops, then that again is going to shift the frequency. So I chose to use a rotary encoder and store it all in software and, and, and it's working quite well. Now you can see on the screen here, it's got different modes, uh, but in order to select those modes I needed some pins tell the Arduino what to do, so it knew what to show on the screen. I couldn't do that because I didn't have enough pins left, so I used a rotary selector so that I could use one analog pin and a resistor ladder in order to select the mode or tell, uh, tell the system what mode it's in. So it reads the analog value. If it's between a certain number, then it will say that it's in radio mode and it will do everything it should do in radio mode. And if it's between another number, then it will do everything in that area. So like for Bluetooth or for the line in. Oh yeah, it's got Bluetooth, I forgot to say. Yeah, it's got a, a little Bluetooth, uh, audio Bluetooth thing that you can connect to and play music through your boombox, which is pretty good. Uh, that was kind of an important bit, I think, I missed out there. Anyway, uh, so this is the, the rotary selector. So this is the resistor ladder. It's. Uh, it just means that so when you turn this switch, and you can select how many turns you want that switch to have. At the moment, mine's got four, and the very last selector is for a different mode. So it just runs through different value resistors. Uh, it goes through a diode as well, but that's because I'm powering things as well at the same time. So it's uh, I didn't want any kind of power to go back, any kind of tools. I mean, it would have been perfectly safe because I've got the resistors there to limit the current, but uh, I didn't want to... Um, have any power feedback through to say the Bluetooth thing, so I don't know how much power that needs. It might only be like microamps to do something, I don't know. And then these are the different modes on the screen that you can see. So we've got me saying, hi guys, kind of, <laughs> I sort of just put that in there. So you, you just sort of create it using these image to LCD sort of bits of software. And uh, and here is the, the Spectrum Visualizer in action running off uh, just the line in using my phone to play an mp3. Uh, now you'll have noticed there's been zero music in this video. It's because YouTube likes to tell people they can't put their videos up if it's got music in. 
or they want to put ads on your videos or whatever, I don't know. But I'd rather not that happen to me. Not that happen to me? Whatever I said, but the right way of saying it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's only been a sneak preview and um, I haven't explained it very well, but, you know, worse for wear and all that. <laughs> Uh, I will make a more detailed video when it's finished. So thank you very much for watching. Please ask me questions if you want to know anything. In fact, I'd like quite like talking about it. So uh, feel free. Anyway, thanks a lot. Bye.